Finally, after 500 years of effort, the Ram Mandir is rising. It's a historic moment and a moment of pride for everyone in India. The Ram Halwa is a dish that is going to be prepared at the consecration event. It is a dish that uh, is prepared by Mr. Vishnu Manohar, a world famous chef from Nagpur and he is going to be preparing about 7000 kgs of this halwa at the consecration event. So let's see how this is made. To start with, we will take a cup of semolina, rava, suji, a cup of milk, a cup of ghee, half to one cup of sugar depending on your taste buds, half a cup of desiccated coconut, you can also use fresh coconut and uh, take off the brown portion, use only the white portion and powder it. A few dry fruits, pistas, badam, almonds, uh, sorry, cashew nuts. So we are going to cut the dry fruits into small pieces. We are also going to use some cardamom. In case you have cardamom powder, you can directly use the cardamom powder. You don't have to make an effort like me to prepare or mash the cardamoms to prepare the cardamom powder. powder. So, as we prepare this, uh, as, as the cardamom powder is ready, the other point to note is you can either use the dry fruits towards the end or you can also fry them a little maybe for about 30 seconds or a minute that will give them a better taste when you prepare this dish. So I'm going to put a spoon of ghee and fry these for half a minute or one minute until the color changes very little. I'm not going to fry them for a very long time and keep them aside. Now in a different pan, we're going to add a cup of ghee and as the ghee becomes hot, we're going to add suji into it. Just be sure that you add suji a little by little and keep mixing it. This will help you in avoiding any lumps. If you put all the suji at the same time, there's a high probability that it will result into lumps. So you can add it in portions, mix it and then keep adding some more and so on and so forth. Keep mixing it uh, until the color of the semolina changes into golden yellow. And that's when you need to add a cup of water and then a cup of milk. Uh, don't do it the other way around like I did because this will uh, eventually, this could eventually lead into uh, lumps being created. So add the water first and then add milk. Continue mixing it and uh, when you see that water is being absorbed by the semolina, you are going to add another glass of water, another cup of water rather. Um, and continue mixing the entire thing. After some time, uh, when you note know that the preparation is becoming hotter, you will add sugar into it, half a glass, half a cup to one cup, depending on your taste. Continue to mix, uh, boil it for about two to three minutes, and then Add a little bit of keser, mix it well. This is when you are going to keep it for boiling. In case you do not have fried dry fruits, you can add the dry fruits now and then keep it for boiling for about four to five minutes. But because I have already fried them, I'm going to use them now. 
so i'll take the dry fruits and uh, add them into this preparation after adding the dry fruits we'll continue to mix well it's very important uh, to keep mixing this thing uh, the whole reason is to ensure that we avoid any lump formation and now we'll add the elaichi powder if you like i'm going to add the one which i prepared earlier but if you have elaichi powder feel free to use it directly and then we are going to add a little bit of desiccated coconut like i mentioned earlier in case you don't have desiccated coconut you can always use a fresh coconut and use the white portion of it powder it and use it continue to mix it uh, we are almost ready with the dish now all we are going to do is close the lid and cook it for just a minute or maybe maximum of 2 minutes not really beyond that All right so this world famous ram halwa is now ready to serve uh, absolutely simple to prepare very delicious to eat thank you you are watching weekend cooking with puneet special episode